China needs to also open up its financial system, which they have been very slow. And indeed, that is the real issue that is holding back, I think, consumption. Why doesn't the Chinese, typical Chinese worker, uh, spend money, consume? If you notice that your wages and salaries are growing at 10% or higher every year, and if you put all your savings into a financial system, meaning as bank deposits that earn you a 2% rate of return, you are very worried about what will happen to you when you become 50, 60, or 70 because you will not be able to protect your savings in that system. So what do you do? And that's the problem. The financial system is repressed. There is no way for the typical Chinese citizen to protect his savings. So he saves even more. And that is the problem. So you need to give these people an opportunity to save in an asset who earns a rate of return that they deserve given the growth rate of the economy. Changing that will not be easy, right? Because it means that the financial system needs to be reformed and money will then go to a different set of enterprises. Maybe we could put our hopes to a state reformed social security system of some sort. Now, why would a typical citizen in China have faith in that? That presumes that you have a tax system that can tax everyone, that will plow all that returns into profitable investment opportunities that the state in 30 years time will deliver for you. What if the state fails? What if that doesn't work? And therefore, the typical Chinese citizen is very smart. He decides that the only trustworthy asset he has is something that nobody can take away from him, and that is property. And he can bet on it that whatever happens, that va property values would probably rise over time in the urban environment, if not because the economy does well, at least out of simple high density and congestion. The scarcity of property will ensure that value goes up. So therefore, this is, there's this huge rush for property uh, in, in the coastal areas of China because that is the only savings asset. So to unlock consumption, we need to unlock the uh, financial system, which gets at the core of the political economy of decision making in China. It is about uh, how do you empower uh, the typical citizen so he can make intelligent choices suitable for an environment of 10% growth uh, but only 2% return on savings.